there folks, hope you're all in good form, hey. I'm doing a bit of farmyard pest control this time with my BSA Super 10. Now, I haven't been at this farm for quite a while since I was chasing a lot of hooded crows and foxes during the lambing season, but I'm only in the door and yep, I spot a jackdaw. And by the way the jackdaw's reacting, I don't think he's seen me for a while either. And he's not likely to see me again. Not much further into the shed, and I spot some feral pigeons. There were six in all when I started, but three of them flew out when I walked up. The other three though, hung around a little too long for their own good. I was sure that one was dead by the first shot, but it actually took a second shot later on to dislodge it. Now, although this large main shed had all been cleared out, there was a couple of smaller sheds either end of it outside that the cattle were being fed at, and this was where the jackdaws were coming down in half decent numbers. So I climbed up onto this tall stack of bales to get a better view of the meal trough that the jackdaws were coming down to. Now, it was anything but a perfect spot as I had to shoot between the wooden slats that made up the end gable to the shed, as well as metal bars that uh, created a barrier around a dunkel outside. Yeah, you're on camera big fella. Here you can see the small gap between the boards that I was trying to shoot through a couple of yards in front of the muzzle. And it seemed to be simple enough, so long as I got everything lined up perfectly. Then, a few minutes later, I spotted another pest, this time without feathers. Yep, ratty. Coming out in daylight after the meal. I even spotted a second one later as I went out to lift this one, but I'd left the rifle in the shed. Now, this was where things started to go pear shaped. I hit the timber, I'm sure of it. Even though the sight picture looked good to my eye, you can obviously see through the camera footage I was shooting too close to the wooden slats. And again here. Must have hit the metal bar. Oh. So I decided to have another wee walk through the shed to see if it would change my luck any. And, sure enough, I spotted a jackdaw and two feral pigeons. That's another one to add to the pile. So, after my little walk around, I decided to return to the stack of bales, but this time I decided to go for a lower position, as there was a larger gap between the wooden slats down here, which gave me a nice shot at this jackdaw. With the sight of the dead jackdaw lying on the ground, the rest of the birds went a wee bit doolally, which gave me a perfect opportunity at this magpie. Though, I don't know how I missed this one. Back up on top of the bales, my luck wasn't improving either. This time, it wasn't the timber that got in the road, 
I had accidentally knocked the bolt half open, so the pellet had nowhere near full power. I got a few feathers, but no jackdaw. So, a bit disgusted with myself, I had another wee walk round the shed, and spotted another feral pigeon that had snuck in. Then, on my way back to the bales, I spotted another one up in the rafters. Ferals are even worse than the jackdaws, cause as well as stealing the meal, they nest in the sheds and then dung over everything, and no matter how much you try and scare them out, they always come back again. I decided to have one last look out the back before I left, and sure enough, there was a couple of feral pigeons. But, on closer inspection, I could see one of the birds had a red tag on its leg, possibly a racing bird and somebody's private property. So I decided to hold my fire, as they may only have been passing through. Well, that was about it for the day, though I did have to climb back up those bales to retrieve my camera. Oh man, you need to get out more sham. Anyway folks, I hope you've enjoyed that. And now that the lambing season's over, I should be hitting the cattle sheds more and hopefully even the rabbits too. But until then, take care and look after yourselves hey. <laughs>